Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. Today I'm training Bibble. My horses are actually kind of happy. I was actually training Luna, I think I'm gonna call her Lulu. I asked you guys to send me some Never Have I Evers on Instagram. If you don't know how this works, you say a situation like, oh, never have I ever failed a race 50 times, and then you either say you have or you haven't. So, okay, we're off to a great start. Never have I ever finished the new Hillcrest race without getting frustrated at least once. I think, yeah, I have. That is my least favorite race in the whole... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't even know. Never have I ever cried in my home stable. Uh, you know I have. Bought horses that you didn't like just because you wanted more horses. I have never done that because I don't want to waste my star coins on horses I don't like. Never have I ever sold a horse and then bought it again. Uh, oh my god, I'm doing this wrong. I have never done that. Any of the horses I sold, I wouldn't buy them again because I would just sell them again. I don't think I'm ever going to buy a horse that I sold. That just doesn't make sense. Like, I sold it because I don't ever want the horse again. Never have I ever kissed an NPC? And uh, no. No, I've never done that, but I know people who have. Never have I ever rage quit a champ. I have done that a bunch of times. Never have I ever glitched into locked areas. Yeah, now if I ever tried to do that, it wouldn't work because I don't know how. I feel like it's a lot harder to do glitches now, which you know, I guess that's a good thing because that means the game is getting better. Like, it's less prone to having glitches, you know, and bugs. Got into a fight on Global. I remember one time there was a girl who was spamming. I was like, I'm gonna report you for spamming. And then I did. And then the girl got into a fight with me over mail and she was like, I have a guard dog and he's gonna beat you up. Okay, technically the fight was on mail. It wasn't on Global accidentally took the trailer to your home stable i actually just did that yesterday oh i know why it's because we kept changing our home stable and then i realized i could have just called for pickup and then i didn't and wasted shillings but it's only 25 it's not even that much never have i ever bought a horse i hated then fell in love with no, no, because I wouldn't buy a horse that I hate. Usually it's the other way around. Usually I'll buy a horse and I'll be like, oh my gosh, wow, this horse is so cute. I love this horse. And then the next day I'm like, wait a minute, why did I buy this horse? It is ugly. It's always the other way around for me, at least. Never have I ever left a club and didn't tell the owner. I'm sure I have done that. When I was a noob, I didn't really know how clubs worked, so I joined like a random club called the Zebra something. Never have I ever tried to race someone else who did the same race as you. Yeah, I do that every time someone like joins a race at the same time. I always want to be first and beat them. Oh, oh my god. Have you ever purposely started drama? No, because why would you want that in your life okay i feel like you'd have to be really really bored to do that and maybe hate your life i guess i don't know never have i ever bought the same horse slash outfit slash pet twice or more times i have um not the same horse i think i've sold pieces of an outfit and then got it again but like not double, I don't even think you can get double of an outfit, but you can of tack. Like I have 11 pairs of racing horseshoes, so clearly I've gotten tack like multiple times. Technically, I don't think you can get a second pet, but somehow I have done that, which is super, super weird. There's this cat that was like super expensive, and I'm like, how could I have gotten this cat twice if when you buy the cat the first time, it disappears from the store? So how did I do that? Do you think I should email Star Stable Support and be like, how do I have two of the same pet? 
Never have I ever told someone that I was busy so I couldn't hang with them, but I really wasn't busy. I hate to admit, but I do this all the time. Way too much. Slow dancers. Oh my gosh, that's such a good club name. Slow dancers. If you guys didn't know I switched off of Nightstar to follow my club, everyone was complaining every day that you couldn't log on because you would log on and then you'd get like air 3040 or something. So it would take me three or four tries to get on. So we'd try to get on for a scheduled event or something. And then everyone in the Discord would be like, hey, I can't get on. Like, I don't know if I can go. Like, I can't even get on Star Stable. And we were kind of sick of it. And every time people would say, hey, there's connection errors with Nightstar, like, there's an issue, they would go on Star Stable's Instagram and say that, and Star Stable would say, oh, we suggest that you move to a different server that's less busy. So, you know, we finally did it. It gets annoying not being able to log on to a game after a while when you could completely avoid that issue by moving somewhere else, you know? Never have I ever crouched in front of Thomas Moreland. I'm a really big fan of Thomas Moreland, and I really think he's great, but not that much. Never have I ever ignored somebody in my club. Okay, I have an accident before, and even if you wanted to ignore someone in your club, you can't really, because when you do that, the person that you ignored will be like, hey, is someone so talking right now? And then the other club members are like, yeah. I would not recommend it. I'm not saying I have, I just don't recommend it. <laughs> Never have I ever burped in public. Oh yes, I have a bunch of times, actually. I try to hold it in, but it doesn't work, okay? Never have I ever tried a star coins generator. I personally have not. Maybe it was because I was mature enough to know that it didn't work like when I joined the game, but I feel like if I were like six years old or something when I joined the game, I feel like I would have done it. But because I joined the game when I was like mature enough to know not to do that, I didn't. I just remember being younger and accidentally putting a virus on the family computer and then everyone blamed it on my brothers when it was probably me. Do you guys remember the pop-ups of like, you just won a hundred dollars? I would be the one clicking on those when I was eight years old. So yeah, never have I ever kissed my horse's ass. You know, in real life I've done that but not in this game. Hacked into your sister's Okay, hacked into your sister's account. I have, she was three or four. I hacked into her account. I bought her star coins. I went on her account. I bought a pony. And then I told her to go on her account. And it was her birthday, actually. I wanted her to think that she got a pony for her birthday. She actually believed at the time that she got a horse for her birthday. Oh my, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna fail the race. It's not like I used her own star coins. Like I bought the star coins, but I would get her horses on her account. And you know, it would be nicer of me to have let her pick out the horses, but I was the one picking out the horses. And I've also hacked into her account to make sure that she got the redeem codes for star coins. Like, I'll put them into her account if she doesn't do it herself. Never have I ever stolen someone's account. Well, actually, I've stolen three of my brother's Lifetime Star Rider accounts, but they don't play anymore. They don't like this game. I think it does count as stealing their accounts. Never have I ever pretended to have a chat ban. I've never done that, ever, but actually that's a really good idea for the future. Thank you for that. Never have I ever owned a club. I used to own Flower Girls, and then when I was a noob, I owned another club, but it was really bad, so... I really prefer being in a club, not being the owner of a club. Being the owner of a club is just... It's too much stress. Never have I ever given away my password. I know this is against the rules, but I have given away my password. Do not do this yourself. If I were to get hacked or, you know, not hacked, 
technically it wouldn't even be hacking because I was the one who gave out my password. But if someone were to get on my account and start selling stuff or doing the wrong thing or got my account banned or anything, it would have been on me. Like it would have been completely my fault. Don't do that basically. I don't know if anyone has my password right now. Maybe I should change it. You know, this is a friendly reminder to everyone to change your password today. If someone sells all your stuff and messes up your account and you're the one who gave them the password, it's not even hacking. It's you gave them your account, literally. So just be really careful. Never have I ever bought the same horse or named horses the same thing. I've never gotten the same horse twice, but I did name my horses the same thing. Never have I ever enjoyed riding Spirit. I think on the first day, I really did enjoy riding Spirit. I thought he was great. I don't know why I don't ride Spirit more. He just seems like a really nice guy. Drink bleach? Okay, no. But there was one time I was calling with my friend Maddie and... <coughs> I dumped something on my chair, or there was some kind of stain on my chair. Maybe I crapped my pants. I have no idea. I don't remember. But I just remember I got some bleach and I dumped straight bleach without diluting it or anything on my chair. And Maddie started yelling. And she was like, You can't do that. You can't do that. It's like, What do you mean? Everything ended up being okay surprisingly wondered why you are still playing sso oh all the time because i started playing like seven to eight years ago and i'm still on this game it's probably because the storyline hasn't finished like you start doing the quests and then you're curious to see what happens next the quests don't come out really fast you know because they take a long time to make and so you kind of just wait and wait that's probably why I've been playing this game so long, because I just want to know how the story ends. I also like a lot of other parts of the game. I like seeing new horses come out, and I like my club, and... What is happening? Forgotten what you were doing in an important quest. Mm, probably not in an important quest, but the side quest that they come out with. I wasn't really that interested in the last quest that came out with the circus people and the Isabel girl. So I wasn't really paying attention and all of a sudden that little clown dude was flying in the air. I'm scared of everyone on this game. <gasps> what the fuck? Never have I ever crashed a car? Never have I ever been in a club that is active and does many events. Uh, we're actually having an event in less than a half- wait, what? There's actually an event in less than an hour that I'm supposed to be going to. Is anyone wondering what happened to Josh? Like, the race is under the ground right here, but the pole bending is gone. And I'm really upset about it too. I really miss Josh, he was so cute. Okay, some people are having fun getting on the trailer. Changed your outfit five plus times during one gameplay. I have not, and that's just because I can't make that many outfits that fast. It takes me forever to just make one outfit and then I don't even end up liking it. Oh my, <sighs> never have I ever caused club drama. You know, I feel like in other clubs I've been in, that was probably the case. There was this one day when the old, the old paint horses came out. Not the ones that are the quarter model bodies, the ones that are the old, old starter model bodies. And I came on and I didn't like those horses at all. I will put a picture on the screen. The club went and looked at those horses and I said, oh wow, I really don't like those horses. And then the other girl, who I would fight with all the time for some reason, she said, Why are you ruining the update for everyone, Pinky? I was just saying how I felt about the horse. Like, am I not allowed to not like a horse? Even Star Stable themselves, they're like, you don't have to like every single update. Like, when people hate on the updates in the comments, they just say you don't have to like everything that comes out in this game. 
you're not gonna like everything. You know, you can have an opinion on stuff. And she was like, no, you're just ruining the update for everyone by saying you don't like the horse. And I'm like, but I don't. Like, is that a sin to not like a horse? Never have I ever stolen my parents' credit card to buy star coins. Uh, no. If I would have done that, I would have been in so much trouble. You don't even know. I don't know how many times you guys need to hear this, but don't steal your parents' credit card to buy star coins. I feel like that should be really obvious. Like, don't steal your parents' credit card. Like, who does that, you know? But I guess it's not obvious. Those are all the never have I ever's that I had to read. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.